fishing gear and free her. She was spotted last week off of Nantucket. As NCN's uh, Dustin Bukowski reports, it's all happening in the middle of a fierce debate over how to protect the vulnerable animals. Bright lines along a whale, fishing gear. She's in extremely poor shape. What's known as an entanglement discovered by the New England Aquarium on an endangered right whale known as snow cone. Scientists there saying her death is all but certain. New gear adding to some already on her that she's covered in whale lice. Moving slowly, she sunk. Unfortunately, we couldn't respond that day. Uh, we were at sea already, and the seas along the outside coast of Cape Cod were already far too rough for a run south of Nantucket. Scott Landry from the Center for Coastal Studies in Provincetown telling us weather was a big factor preventing his entanglement response team from getting to snow cone. The whale actively reproducing, if she gives birth, it adds to just 340 Atlantic right whales still alive. The same species at the center of the red hot battle between New England's lobster industry, Maine officials, and seafood sustainability groups. Do you feel like there's some pressure given that back and forth that's happening right now? At the end of the day, uh, she comes first, and actually before that, our own safety. Landry explaining the recent red listing of Maine lobster, the attention the issue is getting from politicians. It's stressful for our team, but we are just trying to do our best to add this animal back into her population. The politics involved, the policy involved, that cannot be brought to bear for her disentanglement. That said, if snow cone can be found and the gear removed, Landry believes it may be possible to find out where that gear came from. Data that could become part of the conversation of the right whale issue, given the peaking interest in it. Some of the dispute centers on how much evidence there is or isn't to guide conservation. Landry himself believes these images are another reason to reduce fishing rope without scaling back how much is caught. Ultimately, he sees a solution at some point. I'm pretty confident that we can actually find a way of doing this while keeping coastal communities economically viable and keeping right whales from declining so quickly. In Portland, Dustin Blinkowski, NECN.